end, I would like to greet the woman of destiny. <laughs> it is an honor and privilege to stand before you tonight. And I, to I don't take this opportunity for granted. The opportunity to plant and call the seeds of greatness in each and every one of you. Because that seed is there. It is guaranteed when God created you, he blessed you. His own kumboza. Ukuti nizingogongogo. Ama kosigazi aizingogongogo. Ngiya ingbabize nge inji nze miza ama kosigazi. Inti gaze sizwe. I'm a very strong believer that one of our assignments in life is to call out the seed of greatness in other people. At the age of 16, I'm a very ordinary girl who chose to do extraordinary things. You know, the greatest project that you'll ever have to do in life is you. Because umama divine alignment ufanele ukuthi qala usikhe i kingdom kaNkulunkulu and konke lokho kunye shall be added unto us the best you the powerful you the successful you the elegant you shall be added i had to seek the lord for myself to be where i am today I had to align myself with him to receive the divine guidance about my life. It all begins with you seeking the kingdom of the Lord. It begins with you spending time reading the word. It begins with you choosing to serve in the house of the Lord. It begins with you choosing like-minded people to surround yourself with like-minded people. You don't surround yourself with gossipers and destiny destroyers and think you are going to get ama fruit as a zuduin. Angustangani angege guze gustangani. If ufunu hamba in the lagangulungulu, no gutu achieve a wonga ma goals, unkulungulu, agusetele wona la imsaben, kutsho uguti gufanil gutwenza ma choices. Abantu ngege bezebe tande bong, ausi yona imali. Kotok fanel gutu waz guti la. Angege nfigi la payani. Oma mina ngisata la la. Kikulu mengomba mumfundis. Izi ndo ezi nga aki. Angege uzu wazu kufiga la pofunu wibi ukufiga kona. When you are aligned with the principles of the Lord. Which are very very high. You will, you will know when you are sidetracking. The spirit of the Lord will tell you when you are in wrong places. Unfortunately these days. We choose to limit God. We choose to reduce God to in the Latina band to Estabangangai. We chele ut Goba, Mina, E Gashonelo Mamangina sixteen, Kushuti said Peli Dengam, Goba Mina, Anguazang Ugutinzi degree army, Kushuguti ena, Akset Peli Dengam, Angegan Sagas Ugutu figure in figuring down. God and Amsange tonight, I want to remind you, Ugutu Zofika. Uzo fika. Aguga peli, aguga kichwa. Gangina 22, with no experience, no support system, no money. But I had one thing. I had faith. Hebrew 11 verse 1. Faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Gim nane ganjalu. Gisele no baba owa inga sibins. Nabantu anabangane kunam. Kota ngangaz. Oguti. Impilo yam. Aipeli lela. Galo nkulu nkulu enge mkonza ayo. Galo nkulu nkulu mama angshiye na ye. 
ngizokwazi ukufinyelela la ekufanele ukuthi ngifike khona la unkulunkulu angidalele khona ukuthi ngize ngcine ngifikile ngizokwazi ngelinye ilanga ukuma kulesi stage ngikhulume namakhosikazi ngikhulume nabantwana abasakhulayo ngibatshele ukuthi unkulunkulu ukhona uyaphila uyabusa you know when i read the book kadepa a woman who says what needs to be said when it needs to be said with love and respect god trusted her with her message because he, she was aligned to his destiny a true prophet a wife to lapidoth the book says god trusted her because she was submissive first to her husband i hear that she was very sensitive to the man's ego and iyona ke ngesina yoke namhlanje ukuthi we have leaders great leaders amakhosikazi aphethe eindaweni angakwazi ukuhloniphu umuntu wesilisa lokho mina ongenze ngabona ukuthi how if ukuthi udebora uyakwazi ukuthi abe yi judge eikhathineni einzima kangaka engowesifazane kusho ukuthi ayiqala imanje lento yama BE unkulunkulu kade was empowerisha njengabantu besifazane here is what is the part that fascinates me about this woman ukuthi wa Deborah wayingavumelekile ukuthi ahambe ayo sebenzisa amakhothi because amakhothi ayisebenziswa amadoda phela ngaleso sikhathi but istory simlandi if you are connected noma u aligned with a divine kankulunkulu ukuthi engasebenzisa ngesihlahla isihlahla sihlonishwe isihlahla sika Deborah isihlahla esasibizwa nge under the palm of Deborah sebemqoshile bamtshela ukuthi wesifazane aka qualify ungena eindongeni zase court kodwa unkulunkulu i grace kankulunkulu yabona umuhamba umuhamba kuyiphephosi kankulunkulu uzi alina nenkulunkulu unkulunkulu wenza into engeyilutho ayenze utho enze isihlahla ukuthi indawo ka Dibora isihlahla sa Dibora sihlonipheke endaweni ngendlela emangalisayo uma bekuvalela ngapha wena uzoyicreatela umnyango ngapha ngoba uzobuhamba nenkulunkulu wakho ende unkulunkulu wakho uzokwenza ukuthi thina sikubone ngoba uzobuhamba uyi alina nani nenkulunkulu from the age of 22 manqala ukusebenza ikliniki ngina 22 abantu besifazana abaningi ke ngakufanele ngibatha ke over ngibaqashe base bejoy lokuthi ukuthi bethi basi kubelungu so ngiyafika ngimncane lana eh abazi ukuthi kufanele ukuthi bengihloni phe kanjani ngoba ngimncane ngimncane ngisho naphansi kweyinkani zabo oh mama base besebenze for more than 16 years ekhampanini kufanele ukuthi ngibatha the over and ngimi la phambi kwenu ngi testimony kumkulunkulu ukuthi wang protecta kubantu besifazane abase bekhokha imali bekhokhela ukuthi ufelisha Bthelezi abulawo ngoba babengazi ukuthi kufanele ukuthi bethi bossi kanjani kulengane na 22 so sengishona ukuthi ke into econtrola abantu abaningi ukwesaba ifiye kufanele futhi kufanele ngoba uma uthatha istep uthi mina ngiyaphuma manje kule simo ngiyaphuma manje ngisafuna ukwenza lezi zinto sengifuna ukwenza izinto ikaNkulunkulu vele ke uzohlangana no devil abashe new levels new devils new levels new devils kodwa umuhamba nenkulunkulu uzi alina ne purpose kaNkulunkulu ke ahambeka ke ahambeka namhlanje ngimphambweni ngina 41 ngaqala ngina 22 ngimi lapha mkwenu i have received ama awards yonke indawo from langzalwa khona KZN embangeni to lighte edeben bengifike egoli kwathiwa kusekufika ufelisha 
kuni ntomba zani tuwa ufelisha butelez. Leyo ntomba zani kona and we are going to acknowledge and award he. Ugutumubugi kolu lbona likulu. Kukona bando babuga emagma TV uti ay ange ngwazo kufiga la pana because who knows ban ban. Let me tell uzofika. Wena uzofika. Uzofika. La ufunugi ya koni. Uzofika kuyafikeka. Gizon kumbuza loko tonight. The truth is there are many a times when I felt scared to the point of being paralyzed by fear. Kota ngea tanda ingwa tika prisili ya shia. Ekuluma nga ma strategic prayers if event. Kukone ipati la kaza kona nge fie. Kule yo pati leyo uya kaza uguti. Iplan nga ya 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 enemi. Nga satan is to destroy, steal and kill. And to Satan, you must steal the seed. A plant on Kulungulu, when you can steal it. Go, go, go! So humble, you shy, sir. Ngapa, 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 ngapa. We told you when the zone gets this into, it is often as a confuse. Because we're in the lack of Zangayoke, Oguti, I enemy me from John Chagwen, I go in Zanjay. Oti, if I were your enemy. I will magnify your fears, making them appear insurmountable, intimidate you with enough worries until avoiding them become your driving motivation. I would use my anxiety to cripple you, to paralyze you, leaving you indecisive. And when you hear the word faith, all I would want you to hear as your enemy is unnecessary risk. Sita seven zaganja look, Mrs. Njonje, and mfunugu njia la uguti, gipuma kona ngiagwaz. And when I was planning this, I was reminded of the day when I launched the I Do magazine in 2011. I was very excited. I sent out invitation to guests and media, and the response was so great and amazing. People came in numbers, dressed up, looking excited to be invited. When the time arrived for the event to start, I remember standing outside a I was so paralyzed by fear. And everything was just glittering beyond my imagination. I could feel the presence of the Lord. I felt the divine presence, but I was still scared. I still remember asking myself, Uguti, where to from here? Umisi peli de the event. Gizu wins in jayo. Am I the right person for this project? Ama dauti ge lawa aletu age usatan. Gaze nga klega isimo engis traza ngiti sihle na mshanja ngati look at the mess that I've just started. How am I going to get out of this mess? That is one of the schemes of the enemy, is to paralyze us, is to confuse us. He uses fear and doubt. And fortunately for me, there was a woman I called Umama uh, that evening who came out running, screaming, looking for me. And she shouted at my name, Wati Felicia, look at you. This doesn't come from God. She look at me, Epsweni, what you see this fear that I see in your eyes, it doesn't come from God. What you are going right now inside that room with those people and you are going to welcome them, you are going to address them. And sometimes I think we see about dinga oh mama, no sisi, nabangani, abazos kumbuza, oguti, si woba ni kunkunungulu. Abazos pusha la siza makonu balega. Yabwane musutu usu ya balega manje nguba enemisi kufagasheli. Yafige ya chelu guti, you are not good enough. 
laba bantu laba bakufanele anke kuzukwazi kuyokhuluma kubona yonke le yonto unkulunkulu ngoba usukuhamba naye u aligned nonkulunkulu kukhona zomthumela athi go check my child usekhoneni ubanjiwe ekhoneni umthathe mngenise ngaphakathi so ilokho kokwenzeka kumina that evening moments like that do come even if you are aligned with your calling moments of doubt where we reduce our god to human understanding and limitations but the grace of god will always be there to provide help it will come from places you never you less expected you are built to handle the pressure that comes with your calling remember that it is fear that holds people back from reaching their goals when you honor your calling your talents that is number one worship you are showing the world who god is the scripture is very clear in this issue of fear it says for god has not given us a spirit of fear but of power love and sound mind my marriage ministry is my calling i'm fully relying on god to lead me in truth and in honesty like debora i am in business of restoring the dignity of marriage and building healthy homes it is a ministry that i don't take for granted i pray for every move i make i have created prayer pointers and declaration for my ministry i serve other ministers to make sure that i stay connected to the purpose of god because serving others teaches you to die to self and be alive in christ i'm a woman of purpose i am very clear about why i do what i choose to do when you choose to serve in the house of the lord it opens spiritual doors in your life serving in the house of the lord releases blessing in your life serving in the house of the lord increases the cap- your capacity it makes you stay connected to god and aligning to your purpose there is going to be boldness in your life as long as you continue to serve the house of the lord and to serve god in my life as a teenager who grew up with no mother i chose the ways of god i refused to be a victim of peer pressure i lost a lot of friends who were not aligned to my destiny along the way along the way and it is okay i chose his light covering and promises i chose to associate myself with like-minded people people who are successful i started looking for positive people people who doesn't entertain isn't they fun and okay i learned to be great by associating myself with greatness and tonight ladies i just want to declare that you are not going to leave this house the same you are going to be a different woman and a different woman who is going to inspire and contribute positively to other women you are not going to be a, a, a destiny destroyer but you are going to be a destiny helper as from today you are going to plan your destiny your destiny is going to be is, is in your hands and it is up to you to work every day step by step towards reaching your destiny Ladies and gentlemen my main name is Felicia Butelezi I'm known as Mrs B I 